Here is a bridge that might be helpful. Leonardo da Vinci himself uh, drew something like this. And um, I made a couple of modifications to make it more permanent. I think his bridge was meant to be um, more of a temporary bridge. You know, they're, uh, you know, maybe to move military troops or something like that through the uh, region. You know, he worked for a, I know he worked for a man who was, um, he invented a lot of military stuff for and I think that's what this type of design was. But I made a few modifications to it and think that this might actually be something that will work. Remember, I'm not an engineer. I've never built something like this. I'm just kind of throwing the idea out there. And um, I did make a video on um, how his bridge was designed to be made. And I made a few more modifications to that. I will put a link to that video right here if you want to check that out. So let's go ahead and just take a look at what we did here. I bolted a couple of 4x10s together. These were 12 foot long and put a couple of braces underneath them. You can see right here. Here are the boards. I uh, used some lag screws. You might be able to, if you make your bridge smaller, you might be able to just nail it to um, the sideboards here. And again, you could always use, if the bridge is going to be smaller, maybe you could use 2x8s or 4x8s also. And then we simply use some bolts to connect them together. And this is my improvement for this bridge here. When you see the other one, I really recommend watching the other video. You'll get a pretty good idea what I'm talking about. It's got uh, some of the decking boards stick off to the side so that the side boards, the 4x12s here, can actually sit on top of them. That's what actually provides the structural stability for um, the bridge. Now let's go ahead and add a river here or some type of a pond and I uh, the span here is about 10 feet. We're also going to add some concrete footings and to and we're going to reshape the bottom here so that it'll make it a little easier uh, to be maybe more of a ramp instead of a step and you could have it either way. You could have a step on the edge or a little set of stairs, a couple of steps at the bottom here depending upon how you want to finish or connect the bridge to the ground and of course the footings here they will need to be offset they're not going to line up because the beams don't line up and it's not going to be a bad idea to have the um, use some type of a spacer that will allow it to be you know a quarter of an inch minimum off the ground this is a one inch spacer base connector and of course the footings, like I said, they're not going to line up because the beams don't line up. So you're going to have to move this footing over three and a half inches and this one here over three and a half inches if you were to draw a straight line across. Another view of it there, how it works together. So again, you could uh, have something like this. You could have it a little lower. You could have it a little higher. You can always have a step at the bottom or extend um, some type, add some additional framing to have the ramp die into the soil so that you got a nice uh, path, an, an even path with a nice flow to it to where you don't have to step up on anything. If you don't have it, um, you know, if you have about a three or four inch space here between the ground and the top of the first um, decking board plank, then, um, you know, it could be a trip hazard um, either way, going up or coming down if someone doesn't see it. Now, the nice thing about the Leonardo da Vinci design is that you can just keep adding sections to make the bridge longer. I think this one here has a 24 foot span at the bottom. It's, I think it's about 24 foot 5 inches. So you can see here where this one might. Uh, you know, it's going to span a little farther. If you're spanning something about 30 feet, you might be able to get glue lamb beams or um, something like that to span the distance. You can just have a flat bridge. If you want a little arch to it, maybe something like this would uh, help. But again, I'm not a, a structural engineer. This is not engineering information. This is just a example of how something like this 
quite possibly could be built. And again, you can see how it's connecting together here. Our little uh, support boards here. And I went ahead and made this a little longer on this side so that the decking would work out. That's something you're probably going to want to check if you build a bridge like this. You know, uh, just do some measuring and see where the decking is going to break at. And if it is, you might be able to just move one of these boards over in either direction to uh, make it work out to where it's going to be a nice, even flow of decking boards instead of having a small um, scrap board or something in the um, at the edge. And of course, if you did end up with something like this and you needed to put something, you wanted to make it look a little better, put the um, smaller board in the center and uh, that just might work. Um, you know, it might look a little better. You have a full length board over here or width board and then you go all the way across and you have one that's about an, an inch wide or something like that. Yeah, maybe it looked better putting it in the center. Of course, if you're using... Um, two by six, you can always get a two by eight and put the two by eight in the center and rip it down. If you needed uh, an extra inch, get a two by eight, rip it down to six and a half inches, and that might solve your problem also. Now let's add another section to the bridge. And this one here is almost 30 feet long. And it's going to be hard to, uh, you know, I know you can get glue lamb beams up to 50 feet. But if you had a river or something where you wanted uh, a little room or it might, uh, you know, rise uh, one or two feet um, at during time, different times of the year, then you might want something like this instead of having a, a flat bridge going across. But again, like I said, uh, um, these bridges, you know, you can connect them together. But uh, I don't know how stable they're going to be. You know, if you add, uh, you make uh, 10 of these sections and you use 20 foot long 4 by 12 beams or something like that, uh, I don't know how sturdy something like that's going to be. So again, just examples here. Kind of see how it's going together. Same connections all the way across in different, uh, at each section, I should say, or each connecting point. And of course, you can always add some type of a bracing system. And I did see there is another video on YouTube that you can watch. Uh, and I don't know how you would find it. I, I typed in Leonardo da Vinci Bridge, and it uh, popped up a couple of different things. But the guy used... Um, some type of cabling, I believe, to brace everything off. You, you can always do it with wood, you know, one by sixes, um, maybe if it's a smaller bridge, two by fours. If it needs to be a little longer, the braces can always nail um, over the um, bottom beams here, supporting beams, or um, it could go in between, like you'll see here in a second. The braces could be for each section of the bridge also and here it is on the inside some two by fours and of course you can always use some type of uh, building hardware to make the connections and that is it for this video this particular bridge right here like i said 29 feet uh, i think five inches so basically I, i'd imagine you'd be comfortable with a 27 foot span um, the only thing is, is, I don't know how stable this would be if it would sway from edge to edge. And again, if you started adding more sections, then uh, you might need to use larger lumber. You might even need to put some type of a bracing system connecting it together. And I might even make a video to throw out some more ideas. If you have a bridge, you're, you need to build a bridge longer than, uh, that's going to need to be longer than 28 feet. Um, feel free to leave a comment in the comment area and send me some pictures. And again, I'm not an engineer. I'm just throwing out some ideas that I think might work. And uh, um, and I would imagine these, these bridges could also be made with different lengths of lumber also. You know, you might be able to use a 10-footer here and then a 14-footer here, 14-footer here, and then a 10-footer to give you different spans um, also to... Uh, depending upon your situation, of course, how high you want the bridge off of the 
ground and um, and what you're dealing with. So that's it for the video. Hope you liked it. And it is off to the next video.